Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about sunscreens and I'm so excited to share them to you kasi ito talaga yung mga sunscreen mga best na tried and tested ko na na maganda sila before makeup. Super gaan sa feeling, walang white cast and hindi lang siya para sa dry skin kasi dry skin ako. Iniisip ko rin talaga kayo, meron dito para sa lahat ng skin type. Before anything else, I just want to say thank you to YesStyle for sponsoring today's video and you guys already know the drill, sponsored or not, I'll always always be honest to you. And ito mga sunscreen na mga best matagal ko na talagang ginagamit and again as what I said earlier tried and tested ko na talaga sila. Medyo late ko nang narealize kung gaano ka importante yung sunscreen to be completely honest. When I was in high school and college I never wore sunscreen or nagsa sunscreen lang talaga ako pag naliligo ako ng pool or dagat kasi yun naman yung mentality natin before, 'di ba? Na magsa sunscreen lang tayo pag maliligo tayo or naaarawan tayo. Kailangan ba talaga natin mag sunscreen every day? And my obvious answer is yes. Kasi 90% of skin aging is caused by the sun. So sunscreen is the best anti-aging you'll ever invest in. There is nothing wrong about aging but of course I wanna age gracefully. Yung tipong bagay naman yung wrinkles ko sa edad ko. <laughs> yung ganun. I know you guys are already familiar with physical and chemical sunscreen, di ba? Yun yung dalawang types of sunscreen. Again, meron tayong physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng konting review and kung ayaw nyo nang makinig sa physical and chemical sunscreen kasi memorize na memorize nyo na. Maglalagay lang ako ng numbers sa screen. Doon na kayo diretso para sa mga recommendations ko na sunscreen. Pero para sa inyo na hindi nyo pa alam or konting review lang kasi nakalimutan nyo kung ano si physical and chemical sunscreen and pag-uusapan natin na sobrang saglit lang talaga, I promise. I'm just gonna quickly give you the pros and cons para alam nyo kung ano talaga yung perfect na sunscreen para sa skin type nyo. Uunahin muna natin si physical or mineral sunscreen. When we talk about physical sunscreen, it means it is a physical block. So madali lang. Physical sunscreen, physical block. Hindi siya na-absorb ng skin natin kasi it's not supposed to go anywhere but sit on top of our skin to reflect rays. So, nandito lang siya, tapos kung naaarawan tayo, nagbabounce lang yung araw, hindi siya nagpa-penetrate sa skin natin. Again, it's a physical block. So, how would you know if it's a physical sunscreen? Compress it, itong dalawang ingredients na to, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons ng physical sunscreen. Uunahin ko muna yung pros. It's less likely to clog pores kasi nga, it's just sitting on top of our skin, hindi naman siya na-absorb ng skin natin. So, madali lang siyang matanggal. Next naman, mas better to if you have sensitive skin and it's generally safer for the environment and marine life. And ito din yung sunscreen talaga na ma-advise ko kung pregnant ka or sa mga lactating moms. Now for the cons naman, alam nyo na yun, thicker formula, white cast, tapos not ideal under makeup, tapos mas madali siyang ma-rub off, especially kung papawisan ka. Pero good news mga best, yung mga physical sunscreen na i-recommend ko sa inyo ngayon, hindi sila mabigat sa feeling, wala silang white cast, and maganda sila before makeup. Diba si physical sunscreen, physical block lang siya. Si chemical sunscreen naman, iba siya mga best. Kasi ina-absorb siya ng skin natin. Tapos it also absorbs yung ultraviolet rays. Tapos kinukonvert niya into heat which is later expelled and released from our body. Common ingredients na makikita niyo sa chemical sunscreen, oxybenzone and octinoxate. Tama ba yun? Wait lang. Octinoxate. Yes, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Ilalagay ko lang yung name dito sa screen. Pros and cons ng chemical sunscreen. I'll start with the pros muna. Um, first, a thinner formula it's easier to apply, better under makeup, no white cast, tapos it's more resistant to sweat and water compared to physical sunscreen. Now for the cons naman, ito talaga yung unahin ko para hindi nyo makalimutan. Huwag nyo tong kalimutan talaga, especially kung chemical sunscreen yung ginagamit nyo, kasi magiging effective lang siya after 20 minutes ng application. So hintayin nyo muna ng 20 minutes bago kayo lumabas ng bahay. Not good for sensitive skin, because you know what they say, pag chemical sunscreen daw, the more SPF, parang equals to more irritation. Can clog pores kasi nga na-absorb siya ng balat natin. So, kailangan talaga mag-double cleanse. Meron ako mga nababasa na yung ibang chemical sunscreen can cause um, irritation or stinging sa mata kung malagay nyo ng konti sa mata. Pero so far guys, sa mga chemical sunscreen ko dito, hindi naman nangyari sa akin yan. If you wanna educate yourself about sunscreens and if you wanna read more kasi hindi kayo satisfied sa mga sinabi ko dito, kasi ayoko naman na sobrang haba itong video na to, maglalagay lang ako ng link sa description box below. Sa mga nalilito po kung saan and isisingin sa sunscreen. Ako guys, hindi naman madami yung steps na ginagawa ko sa morning skincare routine ko. So after washing my face, nagto-toner ako. After toner, moisturizer agad. And then after moisturizer, yung sunscreen na. Tapos before primer. So again, before primer or kung hindi na kayo napaprimer, before foundation. 
yung application pala ng sunscreen natin mga bes, hindi siya katulad ng foundation na a little goes a long way, dapat dahan-dahan lang, dapat konti lang, kasi dapat madami yung ilagay natin sa skin natin. Madami talaga ako maglagay ng sunscreen sa mukha ko mga bes, and nabasa ko, uh, maglalagay lang din ako ng link sa baba na dapat yung 1 teaspoon talaga, and hindi naman ako naglalagay ng kutsarita sa vanity ko or sa banyo. So yung sinusukat ko yung from here to here, and makikita niyo naman sa video kung paano ko sinusukat yung sunscreen. And madami talaga and sometimes hindi pa ako nasasatisfy sa isang ganito, nag a pa talaga ako. Now let's talk about my top 5 sunscreens. Actually 6 siya kasi meron akong pa-bonus sa inyo. I'll start with this one right here. It's from Skin and Lab. It's called the Free Sea Sun Lotion. Meron siyang SPF 50 plus PA 4 plus sis. Um, lahat ng sunscreen ko dito na ipapakita sa inyo, like physical, physical lang talaga. Chemical, chemical lang talaga. Ito naman, it's a combination of physical and chemical sunscreen. Meron tong vitamin C sa pangalan pa lang Free C, vitamin C kasi nag a siya ng um, protection against photo-aging. Meron tong vitamin E which is a very powerful antioxidant that is effective at reducing sun damage sa balat natin. And then meron siyang Centella Asiatica. Alam niyo na, Centella Asiatica, maganda talaga yun kasi it will soothe and restore skin and it will prevent dullness. Super thin consistency, parang gel or watery texture. Para ka lang talaga naglagay ng water sa skin mo, hindi siya mabigat sa feeling. Sobrang gaan lang. Kaya sobrang ganda niya as a makeup base. I can only recommend this if you have dry, normal, and combination skin. Oily skin, stay away. Meron naman ako ma-recommend sa inyo mamaya. Kasi nag a talaga siya ng shine or glow sa skin, which I like because I have dry skin. Nasabi ko na ba na itong sunscreen na to, wala siyang white cast. Next sunscreen is from Misha and this is a chemical sunscreen. It's called the Misha Essence Sun SPF 45 PA3 Pluses. Hindi talaga ganun kabongga yung protection niya and ginagamit ko lang to pag nag-grocery ako or hindi naman ako na ini or hindi ako naga-hiking sa labas. This is a chemical sunscreen and I wish SPF 50 siya tapos 4 pluses pero hindi. Pero okay lang talaga. Sobrang na-enjoy ko tong sunscreen na to kasi maganda siya sa balat ko. I have dry skin and this feels really, really moisturizing on my skin. This contains apricot, lotus, chrysanthemum, and camellia flower that is very, very moisturizing sa skin. Sobrang bango din ang amoy na to and gusto ko siya pero kung ayaw niyo ng scent talaga sa sunscreen then I cannot recommend this kasi yung amoy niya, yes, meron pa ring amoy na sunscreen pero parang milky sweet scent pero sata lang naman and gustong gusto ko siya kasi parang nakaka-relax yung amoy niya talaga and speaking of amoy kung hindi ko pa nasabi kanina eto meron siyang amoy na orangey or citrusy ng konti sunscreen citrusy ganon pero again sata lang naman siya hindi siya overwhelming no white cast and marirecommend ko to if you have dry normal and combination skin just not oily and wag kayong magalit kung oily skin kayo kasi next sunscreen ito talaga sobrang bagay if you have oily skin. Yung first na sunscreen, a physical and chemical. Yung next naman, chemical. Ito naman mga best from Eated House. This is the Sunprise Mild Airy Finish. Meron tong SPF 50 plus, PA 3 pluses. Ito, physical sunscreen siya. And this claims to be suitable for hypersensitive skin. Ito yung sunscreen mga best na hindi ko talaga nagagamit pag sobrang dry yung skin ko sa araw na yon, or hindi ko to nagagamit kung hindi well moisturized yung balat ko kasi soft matte yung finish niya. So if you have oily skin and you feel like lahat ng sunscreen na ginagamit or um, na nagamit nyo na, nag-oil up lalo yung balat nyo, i-try nyo to mga best kasi maganda yung finish niya. Kasi napansin ko, even if I'm wearing a dewy foundation or dewy na cushion, nagiging soft matte or nagiging satin yung finish niya ng dahil sa sunscreen na to. When I was looking at the ingredients to number 3 yung alcohol. So just be careful if you have sensitive skin. Hindi ko nga gets eh, na parang it claims to be suitable for hypersensitive skin pero meron namang alcohol. Yung alcohol kasi nakakasin cause yun ng irritation if you have sensitive skin. So far, so good. Wala namang nangyari sa balat ko. Sobrang okay naman to sa akin. In terms of application, ha, you have to shake the bottle first bago nyo ilagay sa skin nyo kasi nagsa-separate yung sa loob. Yes, physical or mineral sunscreen to but if I compare this sa lahat ng mga physical sunscreen, uh, makikita nyo na puti siya but if you blend it well sa skin, nawawala naman yung pagka-white niya. Just make sure to really blend it properly. Meron lang talaga siyang parang herbaly scent pero nawawala wala naman siya after ilang seconds. Next naman, itong Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. Meron siyang SPF 50 plus PA4 pluses. Hindi ko lang alam kung okay ba yung isang variant nito, pero ito lang kasi yung na-try ko kasi ito yung pinaka-favorite ni Dave. Etong lahat ng sunscreens na to, mga best, pinatry ko talaga sa kanya, pero ito yung binabalik-balikan niya. And I think third tube na siya. This is your favorite, right? Yep. 
This has hyaluronic acid, royal jelly extracts, and other moisturizing ingredients na maganda sa balat natin, especially if you have dry skin. As you can tell, translucent siya kasi wala siyang coloring agents. And yung feeling niya, same lang dun sa iba na gel-like or watery texture. Para ka lang talagang naglagay ng gel or water sa skin mo. Chinek ko yung ingredients na to and meron siyang alcohol. So just be careful if you have sensitive skin kasi baka ma-irritate yung balat nyo. Si Dave naman sensitive yung skin niya, pero so far hindi hindi naman siya nag-break out sa product na to. Last but certainly not the least, itong Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Babasahin ko lang yung claim dito mga best. Safe ingredients for all skin types. UV shield, brightening, anti-wrinkle, calming and moisturizing, non-sticky and no white cast. This is a chemical sunscreen mga best but it promises not to have all the bad ingredients that a typical sunscreen have. I don't know kung paano nila ginagawa pero nagawa nila. This is 100% vegan and cruelty free. This has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, centella asiatica, and dito na lahat ng magandang ingredients. Free from preservatives or yung mga artificial preser preservatives. Free from <laughs> free from artificial preservatives and wala din tong harmful chemicals. Unfortunately, meron siyang lavender oil. Yung lavender oil naman, it's known to be antimicrobial. Pero kung sensitive skin ka, nakaka-irritate yun ng skin or nakaka-cause siya ng irritation. Meron namang unscented version na to kung sobrang sensitive talaga ng skin. Huwag na lang ito yung bilhin nyo, yung unscented version na lang. This feels really moisturizing on the skin. It's a bit thicker compared to my other chemical sunscreens in here. But when you blend it well sa skin mo, para hindi naman mabigat sa feeling talaga. And it's very layerable. Kahit i-layer mo siya, again, hindi siya mabigat sa feeling and maganda siya before makeup. If you have severely dry skin, as in yung mga madami talagang dry patches sa skin, itryin nyo itong sunscreen na to. I think you're really gonna love this. I actually ordered the unscented version and then in order ko din yung isa, yung parang watery, yung parang blue yung dito kasi maganda din yung reviews noon and alam nyo na adik ako sa sunscreen kaya madami pa akong mga orders na paparating dito. Eto na po yung pabonus ko sa inyo. This is the Sambay Matrosica Mineral 100 Calming Sun Cream. Meron siyang SPF 50+, plus, PA4+. Pluses. This is a mineral sunscreen, so physical sunscreen sunscreen to. Lahat kasi na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, um, chemical sunscreen siya except for this one right here from Ethered House. So, dalawa yung physical sunscreen na ma-recommend ko sa inyo. This is very, very nice as well. Pareho siya ng claim dito sa Purito kasi meron siyang triple function, UV ray protection, anti-aging, and then brightening. This is a physical sunscreen again. As you can tell, puti siya. Pero kahit physical sunscreen to mga best, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels super lightweight and madali lang din siyang i-layer and madali lang siyang i-blend. Alam ko pa ulit-ulit yung description ko sa sunscreen, pero wala na talagang ibang description sa sunscreen. Either mabigat or magaan, lightweight or heavy sa feeling. Etong from Eaton House, soft matte yung finish niya. Ito naman, I'll say satin yung finish niya. Kasi hindi naman siya glowy, hindi din siya soft matte. Nasa gitna lang talaga. This is such a beautiful physical sunscreen and I can highly, highly recommend. So, which type of sunscreen is best for you? Para sa akin mga best, it depends on a specific situation. Like, ako, um, dry skin ako, pero hindi naman sensitive yung skin ko. Sensitive lang yung feelings ko, pero yung skin ko hindi siya sensitive. So, pwede akong gumamit ng chemical sunscreen. So, physical and chemical yung ginagamit ko talaga. So again, depende sa situation. Kung physical activities, like um, mag-run ako, mag-jog ako, or magbabike ako, napapawisan ako, I'm gonna use chemical sunscreen kasi sila yung sweat-proof and waterproof. Um, pero kung pregnant ka, lactating moms, or sensitive talaga yung skin mo, wala na pong debate yan. Physical sunscreen yung gamitin nyo. Before I go, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung general rule talaga. So the longer you stay in the sun, the quicker mabibreak down yung sunscreen natin. So kung nasa beach kayo, reapply talaga ng sunscreen as often as you can. Ako naman mga best, to be honest, I don't really reapply my sunscreen all the time. Nag-reapply lang ako ng sunscreen pag nag-walking kami ni Dave and nasa labas kami and alam ko talaga na matagal akong mainitan or matagal ako nasa labas. And yung ginagawa ko mga best, nilalagay ko dito sa empty ko na cushion. And yung favorite ko na pang touch up, ito yung ginagamit ko talaga kasi yung consistency niya and yung feeling niya sa skin ko. Same lang talaga sa naglalagay ako ng cushion tapos pinapat-pat ko lang siya sa skin. Ganyan. After using it, when I wash ko na naman ulit, tapos nilalagyan ko lang siya pag lalabas ako and kailangan ko mag-retouch sa araw na yon. Again, ilalagay ko lang yung video niya sa description box below. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye-bye.